What's up, people? It's me, Balls Biggins, and I am playing a little bit of Ground War Domination on Baccarat. Probably didn't say that right, but it doesn't really matter. Anyways, um, not really going to talk much about the gameplay. You guys know how to play Call of Duty that watch my videos. Um, I'll just go ahead and start off real quick. Rate, sub, and uh, subscribe. And also comment, guys. Um, basically, just tell me what you guys want to see more of. You know, I'm kind of really enjoying Skyrim. I've got some uh, metal, some uh, twisted metal stuff coming on. And then, uh, you know, I enjoy MW3 still here and there. Um, I had a lot of fun last night playing with several of the uh, subscribers. Baghdaddy, I played with him last night. How's it hanging? Manchu Saber, uh, played with a neighborhood friend, JD. Bala, these are all really, you know, good players. They're fun to play with, very enjoyable. Had good conversations, stuff like that. But I'm actually here to talk about Call of Duty Elite, um, PS3 versus Xbox. Um, basically, PS3 players are getting bone, is the new word that I like to go ahead and term it as. Um, there has been two, or actually, let me rephrase that. There's been actually three maps released for the Xbox 360. And. The elite members have access to them. The Xbox players now have access to the very first two maps. All Xbox players have access now to the very first two maps that were released. PS3 elite members will have access to the very first two maps on next Tuesday, the 28th. But regular PS3 players, if you are not an elite member, if you are not an elite, if you do not subscribe for the elite deal, you do not have access to these maps. Okay, so this right here is what makes me sick, is that if you're not a PS3 Elite member on Call of Duty Elite, then you don't get the maps for probably actually another month, just so you guys know. And Xbox has had three maps already released for them in a month's time, and I have any PS3 Elite members haven't got squad. If I would have known this, I would have never ever spent the 100 bucks and bought the PlayStation 3 Call of Duty Prestige Edition. Would never bought it. I think it's actually pretty shitty. The JD2020, the Activision, none of those guys actually said, hey, sorry here, can't help you guys out. Uh, PS3 members will actually get the maps a month after Xbox players have it. And then also the really stupid thing is, is that I really didn't think the Elite allowed us to have first access to the maps. I actually thought it was more that we just didn't have to pay for the maps. Okay? So basically, probably PS3 members, there's probably actually not a whole lot of Elite members that are actually going to go and play in this Elite playlist. Okay? A lot of them are probably going to go into like Team Deathmatch, Ground Wars, you know, Domination and stuff like that, Search and Destroy, and play in those. So this Elite playlist is actually stupid and retarded. It's completely and utterly asinine. It makes no sense. I really wish I understood what the marketing strategy was behind the whole elite. Make it let everybody have access to the maps. Sometimes you might have to pay for them. If you're an elite member, you don't have to pay for anything for the entire year that Call of Duty comes out until the next one. I probably will not buy another Infinity War Sledgehammer game ever again. Probably won't. I may buy Black Ops 2. Okay? That's a possibility. Alright? Just for the zombies itself, though, because the zombies are actually a lot of fun. That's actually that's a blast to play zombies on that. But other than that, I'm not playing it. I'm not going to become an elite member and shell out more money whenever, basically, I'm just a uh, second-rate citizen as far as Activision is concerned. Um, I might as well be th from a third-world country. This is pretty much bullshit. They, Xbox has already had three maps released. PS3 has had zero maps for the least. Okay. And then on top of that, it's it's kind of pointless because there's not a whole lot of Call of Duty Elite members on PS3. If you are a Call of Duty Elite member and you have seen my video, rate, sub, leave your comments, tell me what you think about all the bullshit. Because that's what it comes down to. The straight up bullshit. As you guys notice, I'm right now using my Osprey gun and I am absolutely fucking yellow too much. They don't even. They, they don't even know how to shoot shit down. Tip of the day, guys, is is that if you get shoot by, if you get shot by air support, shoot it down. Pull out a stinger missile. Pull out a heavy machine, a light machine gun, and just start shooting it down. Okay, just don't let me sit here and wreck you guys. I've got triples and doubles and doubles and triples. It's just stupid. 
Yes, I'm playing against noobs, but it was an awfully fun match, and I really enjoyed it. Anyways, enough about that crap. Um, but like I said, my, my whole point here is that Call of Duty is actually a fraud, and I want my money back. Or, I want something very substantial now as far as compensation from Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games and Activision to actually make me feel like I got my money's worth. So, that's my actual thought for the day is that fraud is just a terrible thing. That is exactly pretty much how it came down is that a very fraudulent uh, transaction was made on the part of Infinity Ward and Activision and the fact that they did not um, disclose the way the maps were going to be available to PlayStation 3 players before we bought the game. Um, I wouldn't actually be surprised if you guys see class action lawsuits over this coming about. And actually, it makes sense for this to happen. It's kind of like uh, whenever Battlefield 3 was sued, EA was sued for not making uh, one of the old school Battlefields available, like they said they were going to. For people that pre-ordered the game. So, uh, that was just my thoughts of the day, you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and let you guys finish watching the rest of this gameplay right here. Like I said, I go 50 and 4. Have a fun time playing the game. Um, I was enjoying playing with some of the subs and everything like that. And some of the friends. But anyways, like I said, guys. Peace out. Let's do it to it. Figure it out. And also, more Skyrim videos are actually coming up, like, probably right after this one is. So, peace out, guys.